one that who is coming up and I believe is really going to be very good over the years. Uh, look out for that uh, boy right there from uh, Namugongo. Uh, that is uh, none other than Silver Okwit Owinjo. He's uh, one of the most prolific scorers we have in this game today. I'm talking about some of the best left-handers we have in Ugandan uh, volleyball. That is on the men's side. But in the, in the women's side, we also have Namala Habiba. She has one of the best left hands in uh, these volleyball categories. I mean, her style, I keep saying, is a little unorthodox, rather, because she never chooses to go for power pace, but she goes for precision. She likes tearing through the block and uh, picking up the easy points, looking for wiping off the block. So we are heading into the second set, and uh, Fiona Nazite uh, with the chance uh, to serve and uh, set things off. The referee says... You can serve. Fiona Nazite, all the way from Amagoro, a south, started playing in Chinawa. Hilary Akankunda, Shamira Kalanzi, Agol Cesaria, Belinda Jepkuri up high. The swing is picked up right there. Agol Cesaria with a dump up high. Peace Businge coming off the block, but the referee read that well. Going sky high is a Peace Businge has been in the league for over 10, 15 years. One of the most experienced players on this Indeja University side climbs the ladder and tears through the block. What an effort that was, rather. The ball saves outside. I almost thought that was going to be an ace, but the ball saves outside and Sports Volleyball Club picks up their first point. And who is in service? Who is tasked with service? It is uh, Doreen Akiteng, the setter. A pick up by Sumaya and Aguirre. But it is an overpass. Is it kept into play? No, it is not. Faith Magole donning a hijab right there on her head. I'll take this opportunity to send regards. We have uh, a lot of Muslim brothers and sisters who are fasting in this holy month of Ramadan. I just want to send my regards out to you. Stay strong in this holy month. You pray, should pray for the best. All that you wish for. All that you hope for. Allah is right there listening. Abai right there coming off the block. Sumaya and Aguirre with a pickup. Cross court. Maureen Mamula, a one handed pickup. The effort was brilliant, but it was not at par. I like the effort from Belinda Jeb Curry, the captain. She puts her ball onto the line with the one handed pickup, but her fire on that ball was a little too much. She couldn't keep it into play. This is Doreen Akiteng once again with the service. It's a floater picked up by Sumaya and Aguirre. Belinda Jeb Curry, cross court. Peace Businge, sky high and crushing it right there in Hillary Akankunda. And in Deje University, uh, pick up their second point, 3-2, rather 2-3. Remember, in this scoring system, you have to start with whoever is serving. Talking in Deje at 2 and Sportes at 3. Talking about scoring, what a point that is from Peace Businge. Uh, talking about scoring. In the year uh, 19, uh, in the year 1916, the scoring system was revised right there in volleyball. And I remember we had uh, three sets that were being played at 21 per set. So the first one to win two would surely take the set. What a swing that is, but it's kept into play. Up high once again, Sumaya and Aguirre tries to keep it up. Jazzy number 20, Sumaya and Aguirre, the smallest and shortest player on the court, uh, tries an effort, but the fire was too much. On the ball, she couldn't keep it into play. So still talking about the scoring system in the year 1916. Uh, they changed it from 21 to 15 points per set, and we were playing best of three. So the first one to get to two sets was surely going to be the winner. But uh, in that scoring system as well, it was held up until 1998. What a pick that was from Shamira Karanzi. Fiona Nazite with options in the center right there with the block is flawless. Fiona Nazite once again, the back set from my faith. Magole, the dump is red well, but this time that was gotten right from the gates of hell. They picked that up majestically from both sides. That was uh, brewing. It was a mega rally of sorts. None of the team could let the ball drop. But uh, who comes out victorious? It is the Niger University side. Faith Magole, the pickup from Kalanzi. What a cross court swing, is it? Oh, no, it sails outside. She went up with fire and rage, 
but she sails that ball outside. I'll remind you, power is nothing without control. She sails that ball outside. This way, the power and pace. Faith Magole with the service. All the way from Kawompe, Inchirokole, sky high, coming off the block. The ball is kept alive by Faith Mamola. Coming off the block, Belinda Jeb Kirui with a celebration. High fives flying all over for the Deja University side. On the front court, we have Belinda Jeb Kirui. We have Lydia Asimo, as well as Maureen Mamula. Now, I'll remind you, just in number six, that is Maureen Mamula. And the person we serving, that is none other than Faith Magole. Our sisters, and one of them inspired the other. What a majestic block. She is shut down. A monster block from none other than the captain, Belinda Jeb Kirui, leading by example. Belinda Jeb Kirui, all the way from Kosirai in Kenya. Faith Magole with the service. 63 kilograms, sails that ball outside. She started playing at Shinawa High School in Kawempe in 2011 under coach Intege Ishak, who is commonly known as Kapi. But she just made an error. And uh, service for Sportist Volleyball Club. Picked up. Not a good pickup, but surely it is recycled and kept alive. Options up high, coming off the block once again and it's kept alive. Cross court, Hilary Akankunda, dumping it off the block, but it's still in play in the center right there. But this time, Lydia Asimo trying to go for a kill block, but the effort was a little too much. And she just ended up touching that. And I see communication between Hilary and Kankunda and uh, the setter, Dorin Akiteng, about increasing the height of the ball. Sportis Volleyball Club at six. One point separating the two sides. Esther Tumwebaze with a service. The pickup from Peaceful Sinje coming off the block right there. Lydia Asimu improvising with the dig set. Once again, the pickup from Dorin Akiteng. Another dig set. What a swing that is. The power and rage in that ball was a little too much for Peaceful Sinje to keep in check. Oh, that is the first time I've seen Hilary Akankunda unleash power rage on a ball. NBS Sports TV 377 on DSTV. We bring you classic volleyball, classic basketball. Any game that you really love here in Uganda, if you're a big fan of soccer, we also have a sister station in Sanyuka Prime where you get to watch 24 hours, seven days a week. All proceedings, whatever is happening. If you're a fan of KCC, Villa, URA, or Wakiso Giants, we have uh, Sanyuka Prime. But a referee with a, still with a little communication here. I think uh, that should be from the second referee. On the other side, the first referee is uh, Kasai Jethro, a national referee. The second referee is James Ojelong, also a national referee. And the scorer is Marcos Obo. Belinda Jeb Kirui. Oh my, it seems the volleyball gods are on Belinda Jeb Kirui's side. That ball comes crashing off the net. It's a kiss off the net and drops into the front court. And she just picked up an eighth point for Deje University. The service is made by Cesaria. A goal. What a swing that is. Unleashing thunder, rage. That is Hilary Akankunda. Earlier on, she was communicating with her during acting the setter to increase on the eye height of the balls that they were setting for. I believe this particular time, she got the perfect height and got the perfect attack. Comfort to Simiri, preparing to serve. Comfort to Simiri, all the way from Mitsoma district, started playing at Mary Hill High School. And uh, right there, what a powerful swing that is right down in the middle. The combination between Lydia Asimo and uh, Fiona Nazite. But it uh, seems that ball sailed outside. The power was too much. But the precision was lacking as the ball sails outside. Comfort to Simiri once again from Mary Hill High School. Up high, skying, flying, and the ball is saved right there. Hilary Akankunda once again. Peaceable Sinje 
Belinda Jeb crew cross court. Hilara Kamkuna picks it up. Sky high, galloping and coming and attacking and kept into play. Fiona Nazita with the back set, but it is not brilliant. Up high, Hilara Kamkunda cross court by this time. She crosses that ball into the net and Dejo University picks up another one. Peace with Sinji was majestic in terms of pickups. The cover in the back court, I'll give that to her. She was really flawless in terms of coverage. Now onto the front court, Peace with Sinji and Ko. Up high, Agoro Cesaria. What a powerful swing that is. And uh, an overpass was met uh, by one of the best, uh, one of the most experienced players on this uh, Sportis Volleyball Club side. That is Agnes Akanyo, who came on uh, for Doreta Akankunda in that middle blocking position. And one of the contributions was that the block. Fiona Nazita options. Ooh. Lydia Asimo, sky high. She went upstairs on that one. A strike. The retaliation was good from Lydia Asimo. The floater is picked up by Samira Kalanzi. In the center, coming off the block, was somehow ricochets and read well. The dump is flawless from Peace Wusinje. What a dump that was. I mean, for her to go sky high and realize the blockers, there was no cover behind the blockers. I love that beautiful use of the brain, beautiful use of the, the skill. And she just picked up a point. But Lydia Asimo just clatters that ball into the net. And in DJ, rather, Sports Volleyball Club comes back right on top of things. I'm still surprised that Renata Kamahoro is not representing for this Sportes Volleyball Club. Are you at home? Are you surprised as I am? Because Renata Kamahura has been one of the best players. I don't know if it's because of injury. It has been a tactical change. The swing just flies outside from Maureen Mamula, who has been flying in from the back. That is the diagonal, or rather what we call the back court in one. It has not uh, been coming in handy for this Indejo University side today. In some of the other games, uh, she is one of, uh, she is ruthless in terms of backcourt attacks, but she is yet to register one right here at uh, Gogonya Road at uh, Sportes Grounds. Fiona Nazita once again goes back to Maureen Mamula, but Maureen Mamula clatters that into the court as if to say from a look on her face, it seems uh, that the set was not up to the standard that she would have wanted it to be. And as Sportes Volleyball Club has uh, seemingly opening up a three-point cushion, a three-point lead, that if they hold on to this, they will get a set in this game. The service and the reception is lacking from uh, the captain, that is uh, Belinda Jeb Kirui. Sportes uh, with a four point lead, if they hold on to this among the Sportes bench, I see the Sportes coach, that is the male category coach, that is none other than Benoni Mugisha, who is also a champion from last season, but an overpass well, the swing just met the hands of Finola Nazite. Sales outside and Sportes are up by four points. The timeout has been called by Indeja University. Uh, it seems that uh, this game is going south uh, for them. So the likes of Shamira Kalanz, as you see on the screens right there, uh, uh, Coach Malik Damurila. I see Coach Winnie Tadeo as uh, communication with uh, the likes of Maureen Mwamula. The likes of Belinda Jeb Kirui, Coach Malik Damurira, communication to Hilara Kankunda. The likes of, uh, I see Renata Kamahoro, uh, just in number 13, all smiles. Uh, she's yet to come and feature for Sports Volleyball Club here in this game. But uh, I hope to see her a little bit later on. I'm equally surprised at the reason as to why they're not featuring for, for why she's not featuring for this Sports Volleyball Club side. But uh, so far, so good for Sports in this set. Remember, they lost the first set, and the Deja University was all smiles because they took the advantage. But Sportes says uh, we have a couple of tricks upon our sleeves, and they are pulling a couple of them in this second set. 16 11 in favor of Sportes.
A goal says Syria. She unleashes thunder. But this time she touches the net. And the referee was right there. Taking in the view. I had no option but to send the ball to Deja University side. Fiona Nazite sends it over, misread, misjudged by Hillary Akankunda. And they just picked up another point that is in the University. They are slowly reducing on the deficit that have been set by this Sports Volleyball Club side. Earlier on, they were leading by over five points. But uh, after that timeout, it seems that a lot of repair has been done by this Ndeji University side. Up high, sky high. A goal says here off the block. A one-handed pick-up by Fiona Nazite keeps the ball alive. Off the block, Fiona Karanzi with the pick-up. Up high, a goal says here with the dump. Somehow, ball ricochets and is kept alive once again. Doreen Akiteng, the back set. They fly by, but this time, the one-leg attack is not flawless. And uh, Esther, with a little touch onto the net, and Ndeji University are within two. Fiona Nazite all the way from Tororo. Five feet four inches at 70 kilograms. Up high, Cecilia a goal. Fiona Nazite with the pickup. Mori Mwamula improvising with the dig set. Surely this is a free ball. The liberal Fiona Kazanzi. Up high, a goal. Cecilia once again. Belinda Jepkirui. What a dig and pick that is. The ball is surely yet to drop, but this time Cecilia Ago clatters it off the antenna. And uh, what a mega rally that was! Deja University within one point. They come into the huddle, and the likes of uh, Peaceful Sinja all smiles. Forest Volleyball Club is forced to call for a timeout. Coach Winnie Tadeo is surely happy with the proceedings. Uh, Deja University has just pulled out an iron hand. Earlier on, they were a little bit soft, and they were behind by five points. But after that timeout that they called, they, a lot of repair has been done in terms of defense, in terms of coverage, in terms of the attacking. And I'm not surprised that they just picked up four points in succession, and they're within one point. Coach Malik Damir has been joined uh, by the experience of Coach Mugisha, Benon Mugisha, who we commonly coach call coach Mogi. Will the experience of these three coaches right there on the touchline affect the proceedings of the game? As Portes was leading earlier on, but in Deja University with lots of resilience, uh, lots of uh, precision, uh, lots of experience uh, up to the hustle. Now, it's another mistake from a goal, Cesaria. Two mistakes in succession they just gifting uh, this Ndeji University side with three points. The likes of Peaceful Sinje, the likes of Maureen Mwamula onto the front court with Faisal Magole. Now, just the number six and just the number four. Those two ladies standing right ne next to each other are sisters. And I believe uh, their dad is surely happy all the way from Chirokole. They're all from Chirokole right there in, uh, right there in uh, Kawempe. Faith Magole at uh, 63 kilograms. Played for Uganda Christian University, the Lady Doves, and KAVC Volleyball Club. And now he's featuring with the sister for Ndeje University. The swing uh, goes and uh, drops into the backcourt. That is from a goal, Cesaria. She has really been scoring for this uh, Sports Volleyball Club. But a lot of mistakes are eating her up. And she gifted uh, this, sport, this Ndeje University side with a couple of easy, easy points. As she kept on clattering that ball off the antenna. Easy, easy points for Deja University. Doreen Akiteng with a floater. The pickup is Majestic. Back set. Peace. Businji comes off the block. Kept alive. Surely it should be a free ball. The block is right on the money from Esther Tumwebazi. Standing tall and shutting Deja University down. Now, Doreen Akiteng goes back to serve. The first time a block was introduced in this game of volleyball was in 1948. Remember, in 1920 is uh, when they introduced, they, they introduced the touches. The block 
There's uh, a little bit of uh, excel muscles right there from Esther Tumwebaze. She blocks that ball and drops it to the front court. But I was still telling you about uh, the block. The block was introduced in 1948. Uh, by, uh, it was standardized uh, by as early as 1920. There were some shades of blocking, but it has been stopped. It has been now imagined. A volleyball game without blocking. That is what really happened over the years. Remember, this is a game that started in 1895, but from 1895 up to 1948, there was no blocking in this game of volleyball. So I'm trying to imagine uh, a game of uh, volleyball with the likes of uh, George Aporu on the front court, and there is no blocking. These would be fireworks. There will be a lot of baptism with the Mikasa, uh, what we call police cases, because I'm imagining from 1895 to 1948, there was no blocking. But the introduction of the block is very good for defense. I see a lot of girls from Bogema University right there. Remember, they were featuring, uh, they were playing earlier on in Serie B, and this time they are sitting around, uh, they are sitting around the likes of Manyangwa, uh, the likes of, uh, the likes of uh, Namara. They are playing earlier on with coach Po. Kamanyiro, as well as Andrew Asasira. They were featuring for this uh, in Serie B for Bugema University. Maureen Mamula, somehow the ball is kept alive. The one-handed pickup was not enough from Shamira Karanz, but at least she puts her ball on the line. And uh, Deja University are within three points. Remember, it's first 25. If uh, it has been uh, early in the years where the game was uh, played at 15, I believe one of these teams will already have taken the set at 15. And if also in the years when it was 21, I believe a team will already have taken this over. But that swing, now Esther, Esther has really been uh, one of uh, the major highlights for this uh, Sports Volleyball Club side. That is uh, none other than uh, none other than uh, Esther Tumwebaze. Uh, she has her blocking abilities, her defense. How many points has she picked up right there in the center in the middle blocking position? Sumaya Ndagiri with bad reception. Surely this is a free ball. Option right there for Doreen Akiteng in the center. Coming off the block, kept alive by Peace Businje. Fiona Naziti with the set. But this time, Mori Mamula is shut down and it seems from a look of things, it seems like a sports volleyball club, as a goal Cecilia prepares to go and surf, it seems like sports volleyball club is running away with this set. A goal Cecilia all the way from South Sudan. But a substitution right there, Doretta Akankunda uh, gets his chance to come and play. Doretta Akankunda was featuring for the Orange Block Busters just a season ago, but remember the Orange Block Busters, both in ladies and men's category, category was disbanded and have not featured this particular season. And uh, Gold Cesaria just uh, with a flyby, the ball sails outside and uh, straight right there, uh, all the way from ABM in South Sudan. She just uh, made an error that uh, cost the team and uh, gave this Deja University side a, a chance. Uh, Shadi Awanyeze is given a chance to come and uh, uh, stretch her muscles uh, all the way from Mumbale. I uh, started playing in 2018 at 64 kilograms, 173 centimeters. That is uh, Shadi Awanyeze. And uh, the parents, Modua Aisha Ishua Leora is watching. The daughter, the pickup from Hilara Kakunda, up high, skying. What a swing that is! A powerful swing goes sky high and drops a hammer. That is Hilary Akankunda. She has had her moments in this game. And the first set, she wasn't as prolific as we know her for. But this particular set, standing right there onto the front court, we have comfort to Simire. With Hilary Akankunda, the task with blocking, sky high, a one-handed pickup. What an effort that was from Agnes Akanyo. Fiona Nazite with the swing. The block is outside. What a brilliant play that is from Doretta, Doretta Akankunda right there. Uh, that is uh, Pal Akankunda. Uh, just in number two. She just came on as a substitute for Belinda Jepkiru, the captain, 1923. She's very good in blocking in terms of the fact that her height is really an advantage. 
to her. The pick up from Hilara Kakunda. Up high Hilara Kakunda cross court right into the back court. She throws down a jack hammer and a sports volleyball club at 24. Ndeje University at 19. I see Coach Winnie Tadeo a little animated right there on the touch line. But sports volleyball club it will pull out their muscles sky high and they brought their A game in this set. The pick up from Sumaya, Fiona Nazite, up high once again. The swing, Falanzi with the pick up, Hilary Akankunda with the dam. It is real the well by Peace Pusinje. Up high, Dor Pal Akankunda, the one hand picks it alive. Another swing, but this time a goal, Cecilia couldn't pick that up. Communication from Shamida Karanzi. She is the Minister of Defense. She's in charge of the catch. She's directing traffic in terms of catch for this police volleyball club side. But so far so good. For Sports Volleyball Club, they are up by four points. Pal Akankunda with brilliant service. Sky high. Hilary Akankunda. The dump is red. Peace Businge with options. The pickup is right on the money. Akanyo Agnes is shut down. And the combination block of Lydia Asimo and Fiona Nazite is cash. They just shut her down and they reduced the defense. It's only three points apart the two sides. And this time, the coach, I believe this was a tactical change. Coach Winnie Tadeo uh, just uh, brought on uh, Hilary Belinda Jepkirui before a timeout has been called by Sportes because they see only one point separating them from taking this win. But uh, the win, the one point is eluding them. It's all they win to take the set and reduce on the advantage that has been taken earlier on but uh, by Ndeje University. On your screens, the likes of uh, uh, these are the likes of units, uh, that is to Shemerere, uh, who features for KCC Volleyball Club they played earlier on. Uh, also, Aluka Kit, they is all uh, featuring for KCC Volleyball Club. They stayed and they're enjoying. I see lots of shots right there from Sportis Volleyball Club. Remember, this is their home ground. So they stayed behind and they are offering uh, this uh, hand uh, of appreciation as well. Uh, uh, right there is Namara, uh, the captain for, for, for Bugema University side uh, with uh, their official photographer. Uh, right there, uh, earlier on, they were playing in Serie B. Now, Agor Cesaria uh, seems to be wrapping up mistakes for this uh, Sportis Volleyball Club side. If they had a chance, I think they would have called another time out because how can one point separate you for all this long? I mean, the University seems to be keeping up points. Uh, Samira Kalanzi with a pickup. Hilary Akankunda off the block. Peace Businje keeps it alive. The set is majestic by the pickup is evenly matched. Hilary Akankunda, Belinda Jepkuru with a pickup. Peace Businje clatters that ball into the net and Sportis Volleyball Club picks up their first set. So that means the advantage has been reduced. Smiles from Comfort to Simiri. Hilara Kankunda was really good. Shamira Kalanzi, jersey number 11, the liberal. She is uh, communicating uh, with the setter. That is Dorian Akiteng. What to remember most times uh, the liberal is uh, under the setter as uh, some of the major sources of, of offense for a team. But uh, Sportis Volleyball Club just uh, matched up the lead, that uh, one, one set lead from Andeje uh, University. Let's prepare for the second set. Fans are still here. I see uh, from uh, that lady right there with short hair, uh, featuring for VVC Vision Volleyball Club side. I was calling, uh, talking earlier on uh, to coach Alan Semanda of uh, Vision Volleyball Club side. Uh, and uh, he says he's hoping his team is going to feature in the playoffs. Remember, just uh, weeks away from now, this, we are in the final stages of the games. And uh, any time from now, we shall be going for playoffs. Uh, last season, uh, a couple of teams managed to make it through the playoffs and uh, come up on top of the food chain. Sportes in men's category and uh, KCCA in women's category. Taking a little sights and sounds uh, right here at Gogonya Road, Sportes Grants. <laughs> 